Namdi Kanu's lawyer, Bruce Fine writes UN Secretary General, others, demands Nigeria's expulsion over serial violation of charter. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. According to Fine, the peaceful calling for a referendum permitting Biafrans to vote on whether to establish an independent nation of Biafra with boundaries to be negotiated by his Namdi Kanu is protected under Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The United States Council of Namdi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Bruce Fine, has called for the expulsion of Nigeria for serial violations of the United Nations Charter in the illegal prosecution of his client. This was contained in a letter Fine wrote to the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, President, UN Security Council, Nicolas de Riviere, and President United Nations General Assembly, His Excellency Dennis Francis. In the letter dated March 13, 2024, titled, Re, Expulsion of Nigeria for Serial Violations of United Nations Charter, Bruce Fine enumerated Nigeria's serial violation of the UN Charter to which Nigeria is a signatory, including the hanging of an environmental advocate on behalf of the Agoni people, Ken Sarawaiwa, and its ongoing alleged genocide of Biafrans featuring industrial-scale atrocities. According to Fine, the peaceful calling for a referendum permitting Biafrans to vote on whether to establish an independent nation of Biafra with boundaries to be negotiated by his Namdi Kanu is protected under Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. He cited Article 6 of the United Nations Charter which provides for the expulsion of a member for persistently violating charter principles, noting that Nigeria has easily met the standard for expulsion with its illegal prosecution of Namdi Kanu among others. While noting that the Nigerian government was not interested in the prosecution of Namdi Kanu, he explained that its ultimate aim was to kill Kanu in solitary confinement at a security cell like Russia's Alexei Navalny. The letter which Sahara reporters obtained on Thursday, partly read, on July 20, 2022, the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention issued an opinion finding that Nigeria violated 16, 16, international human rights covenants in the kidnap, torture, and extraordinary rendition of Namdi Kanu from Nairobi, Kenya, to Abuja, Nigeria in conspiracy with the government of Kenya on or about June 2021. The opinion ordered Mr. Kanu's immediate and unconditional release and reparations, but Nigeria has ignored its United Nations international law obligation to comply. Since Mr. Kanu's illegal detention nearly three years ago, Mr. Kanu has been held in solitary confinement without access to necessary and urgent medical care and legal counsel by Nigeria's security services. There is no trial date, and the charges against Mr. Kanu keep changing like a weather vane. The government of Nigeria is hoping that Mr. Kanu will die in prison like Russia's Alexei Navalny. Nigerian courts have already held that Nigeria attempted the assassination of Namdi Kanu at his home in September 2017 in a military attack killing several others. He was denied bail on the outlandish, Kafkaesque theory that in fleeing to save his life, Mr. Kanu violated the terms of his initial release in 2015. It added, on December 15, 2023. The Nigerian Supreme Court acknowledged the criminality of Mr. Kanu's extraordinary rendition of Mr. Kanu from Nairobi to Abuja. Federal Republic of Nigeria and Namdi Kanu, SC slash CR slash 1361 slash 2022. The court concluded, nevertheless, that Nigeria could profit from its crime by prosecuting Mr. Kanu who came within Nigeria's jurisdiction by flagrantly illegal means as found by the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, for example, violations of Article 9 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights to which Nigeria is a signatory. The Nigerian Supreme Court decision makes Nigeria an outlaw nation. It is now free to kidnap citizens in other countries for extraordinary rendition to Nigeria for prosecution with impunity under Nigerian law. The decision flouts the preamble of the United Nations Charter expressing a determination to establish conditions under which justice and respect for the obligations arising from treaties and other sources of international law can be maintained. Article 6 of the United Nations Charter provides for the expulsion of a member for, persistently, violating charter principles. Nigeria easily meets the standard for expulsion, 
including its illegal prosecution of Namdi Kanu, the hanging of environmental advocates on behalf of the Agoni people, Ken Sarawaiwa, and its ongoing genocide of Biafrans featuring industrial-scale atrocities. We urge the United Nations General Assembly, Security Council, or Secretary General to appoint a commission of impartial human rights experts to advise whether Nigeria should be expelled under Article 6. The human rights credibility of the United Nations is in the balance, it reads. Well, 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 thank you so much for watching. I believe you understood what the news was talking about. I said this thing from the beginning, that Bola Metinibu was brought into office dubiously for a reason. You don't trust politicians because they are politicians. They can do anything so far as money is involved. All of this whole thing you are seeing today is because they want to pin the canoe down. It's because they want to make sure that nobody rise again to look at their faces and said, we want to leave. All they are doing today is because they want to make sure that they destroy them they can, both physically, spiritually, and otherwise. Mentally, this is what Tinibu is doing. This is a man whom his son have a house of $11 million in England. A idiot that has never worked in his life before. This money is resources coming from Biafra land. This money is resources coming from the eastern part of the country. Lagos State has no oil. They have no gas. Upon that, they're just like the Fulanis. Forget about oh, this whole thing about they, they find oil in Fulani land. There is no oil there. Buhari just deceived people. If not, if there is oil there, how come Dangote built this refinery in Lagos State? It's not for the north. People should stop deceiving themselves. They are keeping Nam the Kano to see if they can break him. All this gibberish about God is nothing. Because even the judiciary, apart and parcel of the atrocities the politicians are committing, Tribu is the president of Nigeria. See, others, the judiciary is around. What do you expect? When you smuggle people into office, like law firm, when you smuggle people into judiciary, what do you expect? Judges, so many of them in judiciary, we are smuggled into it. They did not merit it. That is why it is happening like this. So don't obey the president. Because them say personally, they don't want problem because they have committed so much atrocities and they were smuggled into the judiciary to do all this deal. When I told you that Nigerian constitution is finished, take it from me. When I told you that Nigeria is finished, take it from me. Tinibu is a criminal. Not only that he's a drug baron, he's also a criminal. How can a man who has no resources in the land move around with Vulon Van? After that, he was made a president. Dubiously, because why? Because of Nande Kano. This was why Buhari supported him. Some of you don't know this. I've said this several times that it shall never be well with British government and the atrocities they have committed against Igbos. It's just like Wiki, who is still moving around freely as a, a Federal Capital Territory Minister. This was a man who murdered so many blood of of, of, of people youth. Tomorrow, you vote that one into Nigeria governance as a president. Things will continue to go wrong. All we are asking for is the list of Namde Kano. That's all we are asking for. 
people continue to say we always talk, talk, talk. Nothing is happening. But I've said this several times. Keeping them on the Kali alone in custody is a risk. Because if anything goes wrong, even Tinubu children will not see the have the cause to come at anywhere to talk. They will be all haunted. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.